so dear students in this lecture we are going to discuss the understanding of computer aided design and manufacturing or cad cam in the last lecture we discussed about the evolution of cad and we came to know that cad model is uh, a better way of communication because it represents the three dimensional information of the part or the product uh, here we will discuss the uh, difference between the cad systems that evolved in the earlier time like in 1960s and later on uh, 70s and 80s and modern day cad systems in early day cad systems they were basically automated drafting board systems so you could generate an engineering drawing with the help of that but again for interpreting that information you need some person who is qualified to understand it, that information and convert that into a useful information useful uh, the cad systems are uh, like drafting cad systems they were useful for uh, displaying storing 2d part information interpretation of drawing was left to the user and uh, another uh, thing which is worth mentioning is the interpretation of three dimensionally of the object is left to the user it is not done by the system so recent cad systems are capable to define objects in three dimensions we discussed uh, with the help of this example the depiction of an engineering drawing so this engineering drawing depicts five parts which are going to be used for making an assembly okay so in comparison if you see this uh, cad model this has all the information about the different parts you can manipulate that information uh, you can manipulate that information like you can rotate this uh, you can have the section view you can see what is the inner details and even you can generate the drawing for each and every part as well as a assembly of this uh, cad model or any cad model for that okay uh, this is an example of geometric model of a part which is a representative cad model or geometric model of a cell phone this is another uh, uh, example of geometric model of a wall uh, alarm clock okay so i will be using the term cad model and the geometric model interchangeably and uh, what are the usefulness of this geometric model is that you can use this information for variety of uh, downstream applications like computer aided assembly so what do you do in computer aided assembly you it, you can use this to uh, it to build assembled models of products by defining mating relationship between its components and computers are further used to evaluate designs and redesigns products for ease of assembly like for example uh, you are designing some kind of automobile you are not sure how far uh, how easy it is for the worker on the show floor to assemble an engine inside the automobile or the car so with the help of this kind of uh, uh, tools available it is very well possible to uh, design a car or um, for that uh, matter uh, the uh, uh, any of the product for ease of assembly similarly computers are used to evaluate designs and redesign products for ease of disassembly suppose you build something some you make uh, develop a car and uh, naturally it has uh, tires and wheels and uh, you got a flat tire somewhere and it is very difficult for the user to change that uh, tire and um, it it is very you can say it is not ease of disassembly so ease of disassembly and ease of assembly both are very important because assembly is for the workers and other things and disassembly is sometimes very Uh, useful for the maintenance persons okay so this is a snapshot showing uh, 
the computer did assembly this is an exploded view of the alarm clock that i showed and uh, that was assembled view this is the exploded view so you can see it uh, each and every part of this uh, uh, this assembly and uh, these are all indicated and with the help of this kind of information uh, available in the system you can plan for its ease of assembly and as well as disassembly computer aided analysis is another uh, uh, application um, or an another methodology which can be used for uh, routine and final design checks these there are n number of uh, analysis tools which are available like an ansys or uh, uh, abacus or simulia and many other uh, uh, engineering application software that can help you to analyze a part so computers are used extensively for analysis such as stress analysis heat transfer analysis fluid flow analysis electromagnetic analysis so you have specialized applications if you want to go for uh, stress analysis for example for building stress analysis our uh, civil engineering people they use statco for um, uh, for uh, design of structures uh, for design of heat transfer you have typically different uh, applications available you have applications which are typically used for uh, specially used for cfd you have applications which are used for fluid flow and etc etc so three stages of computer if you find any of the computer aided analysis software or any of the engineering software for that matter just notice that it has three stages like pre processing analysis and post processing pre processing is when you are providing all the information to the system uh, so that uh, the information uh, can be used for analysis for example i give you a, an example of a beam uh, simply supported beam to be solved in your mechanics or material course that you have already gone through it requires the information about the material uh, that means the poisson ratio or the modulus of elasticity the cross section or the section which you are going to use as well as the kind of support that you have okay so this kind of or type of loading also so all that information which is necessary for solving a particular problem uh when it is defined with the help of uh, computer application is known as a pre processing analysis is when you apply the engineering knowledge for example for solving the uh, the simply supported beam problem you will apply theory of simple bending so uh, when you apply that theory to find out what is the uh, displacement or what is the deviation of uh, the beam from its uh, original configuration that kind of uh, uh, solution is known as analysis or solution post processing is when you draw nice graphs to depict the information that you have obtained in the solution um, uh, stage or the analysis stage or the second stage and uh, you depict uh, or use that information for information uh, for the benefit of the user for example you draw bending moment and shear force diagram that is uh, not actually part of the solution but to you want to understand uh, how the things will look or you want to uh, have the graphical understanding or you make some kind of a list uh, which gives you a fairly good idea of the results so that is what we call it as post processing so every engineering software whatever what uh, no matter what application it is going to be used has typically three stages pre processing analysis and post processing this is an example of a computer aided analysis of a spanner as you can see the information very well depicts the areas of high stress uh, the red colored uh, areas are having stress which are uh, of the order of uh, it is mentioned over here uh, 0.424 e raised to power 9 and uh, the blue areas you can see it is very low stress uh, okay and these are the intermediate areas so these are the areas which you need to focus for strengthening and these are the areas where typically the stress is very low and these may be the candidate of removal of some of the material so that you can 
have the uh, you can save some kind of material and thereby cost so this kind of uh, 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 this kind of exercises are very common in the industry as the industry uh, where the engineers are used the, the meaning of engineering whatever we study is not only to do the best thing but to do to optimize the things so that you can save on cost and time as well as other resources for example the material so another uh, application of uh, the care is the computer aided optimization there are specialized tools which are available for optimization computers are used for arriving at optimum designs whenever there are many alternatives for feasible designs and uh, there are typically uh, two categories of uh, optimization or design optimization one is the parametric optimization where actually you are given for example you want to um, you want to optimize uh, a, a building for example and you are given that these are the parameters like uh, uh, cross section of the beam and all that you want to optimize the cross section of the beam so that the minimum material is used so that kind of optimization is known as a parametric optimization shape and size optimization is when you have the liberty to change the shape or size of the uh, of the product you want to optimize so that kind of uh, optimization is known as a shape and size optimization uh, this is uh, an example of computer aided optimization where you have an initial design of a part and you have an optimal design the main thing when you are doing this kind of optimization is the functionality of that part or product should not be disturbed so you set certain constraints for example i may set the constraint that the whole diameter whatever the whole diameter here is for example it is 10 mm it should not change when i do my optimization but i am flexible as far as the dis distance between those these two folks is concerned okay but i cannot change this outside distance between these two folks so these are the constraints that you have to apply and uh, for example you can set the distance between this and this because this part is ultimately going to be fixed with some other part okay so you are uh, not ready to take that risk of missing Uh, of uh, designing something which doesn't fit to another part because it is part of the sub assembly or assembly so you have to meet certain conditions or criteria for setting the optimization example but as far as these uh, the material uh, at this uh, side or its thickness is concerned you you have the flexibility to change that design so after giving this kind of uh, information to the computer the optimization helps and other thing that you can give while optimization is the uh, maximum uh, stress which the uh, the part is going to bear and the factor of safety etc because i said that the functionality of the part should be uh, preserved and because there is no point of designing something which is not functional so you have to take care of that aspect so this kind of optimization uh, systems are also available these days uh, okay and uh, another very good application of uh, cad is the rapid prototyping or 3d printing as we call that because 3d model or the cad model is used for uh, for manufacturing that part just uh, i want to give an example of a 2d print Uh, through a laser printer uh, in earlier times it was possible to time type something with the help of a manual typewriter or electronic typewriter uh, but the information was not used for uh, was available for editing and other things like you printed something from the typewriter and uh, you cannot edit it the only thing you have to do is to use a eraser and uh, do some kind of uh, exercise to uh type something again and all that but uh, with the help of uh, laser printer and inkjet printers and other computer aided uh, tools which are now available for outputting your uh, file which is generally in uh, word file or pdf file or jpeg you can take the print out very easily but the only thing uh, which is uh, required is 
you need the information in a two dimensional um, format which is understood by the printer similarly for printing something on a 3d printer or a rapid prototyping machine you need something which is uh, which can be understood by the printer which is nothing but the CAD model so you need essentially need CAD model there is no escape from having the CAD model in modern day design and manufacturing industry there are variety of the other application which is not possible or uh, which is not actually the intent of this lecture the intent of this uh, video is just to give you an overview of what are the uh, things possible in with the when you have the CAD model of something okay so when we say CAD model we uh, we another uh, major application is uh, design for manufacture so design for manufacture is uh, gives you a kind of uh, uh, fairly good idea of how uh, whether you are going to face some kind of uh, manufacturing difficulties when you do that uh, for example in this uh, molds filling simulation uh, this is you can see this is a very intricate part so this part is to be used and the, this part is to be manufactured using mold filling or uh, filling the mold with the help of some uh, molten metal okay so when this was simulated uh, using a specialized uh, mold filling simulation software uh, you uh, one could identify that there were some areas where the problems are going to going to occur because of the lack of uh, confidence of filling okay so here wherever you see the green areas uh, the confidence of filling is high here in the yellow areas our confidence of filling is uh, medium and in red areas or red colored areas the confidence of filling is low so what you need is to modify your design and again simulate it so that whenever your part is uh, your model is ready your design is ready and you need to prepare the mold which is typically cost a few lakhs rupees uh, for making a mold or even pattern making a pattern for something as integrate uh, which is being shown in this figure you need to spend a lot of money and once that mold is ready you have literally uh, very few uh, you can say options um, the only option you have if uh, you have a wrong mold design is to reject it you have to again rework on that and you spend a lot of time and money in that so this is why uh, you need mold filling simulation and these kind of applications are being used and uh, you have applications like um, uh, mold mold flow is one application for plastic uh, uh, injection molding simulation then you have magma soft which is used for mold filling uh, and mold uh, even solidification of uh, uh, die castings and all that so you name it and you name it the functionality you will find one or the other application which is commercially available okay so uh, CAD model or the geometric model which we will be referring uh, interchangeably in this uh, course uh, geometric model refers to the computer compatible mathematical representation of geometry it has all the information which is in it provides a three dimensional definition of that part and that definition or that uh, geometric model can be used later on with the help of computers so it deals with representation of curved surfaces and solids so this is a textbook definitions you can go through and geometric model is the basis for creating representing manipulating and storage of designs in today's CAD systems and it also forms a basis for integrating design with other life cycle activities such as manufacturing inspection and many more and uh, to depict it uh, with the help of a figure the geometric model or the CAD model forms a core and is an essential requirement whether you are doing conceptual design whether you are doing fem analysis like strength analysis uh, you are doing kinematics and dynamic analysis like you want to see the motion analysis for a four bar mechanism you can see that you can do that shape optimization assembly computer aided inspection 
Computer numerical control is another major area where the CAD has wide applications or geometric model is an essential component and even design detailing here means you can generate the uh, 2D drawing with the help of a geometric model or a CAD model. So the course um, that we will be having and the few uh, the lectures we will be having in this uh, course will be quite interesting and we will be discussing not only the uh, the real applications uh, through the laboratory courses but uh, the theoretical understanding of this uh, how this geometric model represents the information thank you